And the big change is, have we mentioned this yet? Why we're- No, 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 we haven't. Okay, so the reason why we're keeping everything Today, we're gonna go over everything we got for our baby. It was a lot. So we're, it's kind of like a registry haul, like a baby shower haul, because we did do the registry together, but when everything came in, I opened the items, and he didn't really look at it. Except for some of these, we didn't open. Two things are missing out of this shot. The rocking chair and the baby changing station. It's a dresser with the um, changing station on top. There were 71 items on our baby registry. <laughs> Where to start? And I don't know what half of these things are. All right, our first thing is feeding. Is I kind of want to see what he thinks that this stuff is, first of all. This is feeding? Yeah, what do you think it is? All right, so we got a bottle cleaner, and I feel like this looks more like a toilet cleaner. I don't think it has to be so big. <laughs> What's this? Let me look at the picture. Bottle Breast cooler. milk, bottle warmer. Guys, you gotta have a bottle cooler and a bottle warmer, because we got a bottle cooler somewhere in here. <laughs> so that's how I know you're supposed to have both. This is gonna be important because I'm gonna pump and then Avery will feed the baby. Breast milk storage bags. Is there a reason why you got these ones? No, honestly, that's just what I've seen. And then they're gonna be stored in these little guys. Um, this one's the one out of the box. What is this? Just that's the freezer something? that you said that like, don't you just put it in the freezer? That's what this metal part is? So, it looks like this. So here's the real box. Uh, you put like, for it to freeze, you put it on the metal part. So then it freezes flat and then you put it in the container and then you pull from the bottom. So these are just gonna go in our freezer. We have two, but- We have two freezers? No. <laughs> oh. We have two of these. This is the same thing, babe. You see how you just, then you put, you put it on there so it freezes flat and then you're gonna put them, and then when it's done freezing, you put it in here, but then we pull from here. So think. You're putting the Ziploc, you're putting milk in Ziploc baggies? That's the baggies we just saw. Oh. These are where the milk goes. How you get it in there? You just pour it in there from my pump. Oh, they attach to your pump? They don't attach to the pump. That's Next another, item. That's another bottle, bottle washer. Bottle, bottle cleaner. cleaner. This is a bottle sterilizer. Kind of looks like a Brita. <laughs> We're gonna do this probably once a week. Um, with the bottles. We got sent some formula, so if we ever need to supplement, that's nice to have on hand. These are gonna be like storage cups, so I can put my milk in there in the fridge. Of course, we got the Hakka. Wait, does the bottle freezer go in, where does that go? This baby's milk taking up all the free the refrigerator <laughs> space. How are we gonna put this in the refrigerator too? You're not pumping that much milk. That's a lot of milk. <laughs> these are Hakkas, and these- Bibs. Bibs, these are for my nibbles that are probably gonna hurt a lot. This is the breast pump I got. So Abe, the milk's gonna pump in there. Then we're gonna pour that into the bag. We got it through our insurance. Yeah, so we got glass bottles. That's a big old bottle, but um, <laughs> glass bottles because of when you warm up the plastic, it can release toxins into the bottle. Um, however, as the baby gets bigger, the baby might throw the bottle, so we might get more plastic bottles in the future. But for right no, now- I think he's definitely gonna throw the bottles. But right now, he's not gonna be throwing the bottles. So we did get some plastic ones. We got Dr. Brown's. We're gonna plan on pumping probably at, starting to pump at like four weeks um, so that Abe can feed the baby also. And so we got multiple Dr. Brown ones and then we got um, Como Tomo. These feel nice. Like a boob. So we'll find out which one he likes most. We got this one too. This one's a glass one. It's not glass, I think it's plastic. A really hard plastic. But I still really like the, the look of it, to be honest. That's why I got this one. The last like big bottle purchase we got was these Advent, Philips Advent ones. They're super popular and these are glass. It comes with uh, three small ones and a few bigger ones. We got a lot of bottles. Do people usually have this many bottles? Oh no, that's a great question. Do yeah. people usually have this many bottles? Let us know in the comments. I think we're going to do clothes now. For clothes, we should also include like some of the pacifiers and stuff. The clothes, aesthetic and everything is important to me. I'm a fan of binkies, pacifiers. Binkies, same thing? Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of them. Ha! We got our baby shower. 
Yeah. All right, so you know we got some Nike. We got this little guy, Dreamer shirt. Mittens. Uh, onesies, zero to half. Tank top. No, it's a romper. Look how cute that is. He can look good in that. Tank top romper. More rompers? That's fresh, I'll wear these. I think your brother got us this. Oh, <laughs> nah, this is dope. I yeah, like this. I like, the like the colors. I like the neutral colors, guys. Like the, or the, not even just neutral, because this isn't really neutral, but more so tones. Earth tones. Yeah, like the deeper earth tones. More mittens. I don't know if this little man's gonna keep mittens on. Passy clips. Little outfit. Uh, these are the ones that, so like their feet, you just go like that. Like, well. <laughs> I've seen some pictures where they be. Yeah, some of them are tied. Look, these are his muscle shirts so he matches daddy. Hey, these are my favorite. Yeah, we need some more. I want him to be, the muscle shirts, that's swaggy. I love a baby. Uh, uh, my white tee. Boy, about to be fresh. We got some socks. Hey, these are my, like my favorite so far. We got these for Kentucky. We didn't really get those for Kentucky. Those are more like the Knicks colors. We, we don't have any Kentucky stuff just yet for him. Cause he likes watermelon probably. Got him some more Nike shirts. He needs some pants. He got all these ones with no pants. He's gonna be in no pants. Well, boom. This gonna be a while for you than these, huh? And that's all the clothes we got. I smell good. Something smell good. I think our approach was also we wanted to have less clothes because we can buy clothes later. Like it's not. Well, like also hand me down clothes. Yeah, I think I'm. Like I need, I need to see him and then I'm gonna go shopping with him. He needs to see the baby. <laughs> need to really see what like his style is. What's gonna look good on him? Oh. Here's some of the pacifiers. Got him a lion because it was the most manly one. This is a baby clip. I like these colors, like like the mute tones and stuff. I like this clip too. Like these ones. Not bad colors right here. Not bad colors. Then we got these ones. My favorite one is this like matte black. Literally, I ordered that just for Avery because I knew that he was gonna like that color. This is the only one I'm probably gonna give to him. This is fresh. Bassinet. So bassinet, we just got the Halo bassinet. We haven't bought a crib yet. But we're in a rush because he's gonna be in our room for at least three to six months. So we got this bad boy as our baby monitor. We're gonna get another one also. This is gonna be convenient though. So we have, we're gonna get one that goes to our phones. Um, but also this one is gonna be nice so that we don't have to have our phone open at like at all times at night. This will be next to our bed, that type of thing. This is a sheet for the Halo bassinet. We got a few of those. These are burp cloths. Let's back up. These right here. Hey, these right here, this goes with style. We missed them. These are fresh. What are these? Teethers looks like. Back to sleeping stuff. And then we got the hack for um, the sound machine. So this is the sound machine that you can control from your phone, also change the colors. So this is gonna be super great. Heard great things about it. Probably one of my favorite purchase, purchases or gifts Sauce purchases that we've gotten is the outlet. Just for peace of mind, um, it measures his heart rate, his oxygen level, his sleep data. Um, we can view it from everywhere. We've also had friends that just told us that it gave him peace of mind. So I'm super excited about this. It took me a minute to decide that I wanted this, but I'm super glad that we got it. This is for his head. I don't know how much we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this. We're gonna have, we need a perfect circle. For cloth. Teethers, he might not need these for a few months. And this sound machine, this is gonna go with our stroller so that we can uh, take this to go, so portable, so we don't have to take the hatch sound machine everywhere we go. It's just a pad for the baby to do tummy time on. And then my mom made him his very own baby blanket, which is really, really special because I also have my own baby blanket. He also was gifted another um, baby blanket, the handmade crocheted from an individual who's super specialized to us also. He got another baby blanket. This is also handmade and crocheted, so super special items. Dark. This bad boy. So that's all for his sleeping, laying down, tummy time. I think this section is bath stuff. You're gonna get my like, how I'm gonna use it. So keep in mind, Tabby put most of the stuff on the registry. I have no idea what half the stuff is until it comes in and she tells me what it is and why we need it. This is a little bath time thing. Looks pretty nice. This is kind of like soft. Tabby will probably just take baths with him. This looks like a little waterfall. You fill this thing up with water, you pour it over his head, 
make him laugh a little bit. This is his face and body lotion and shampoo. He needs a special towel. He needs a towel. <laughs> this is his towel. It's a hood for him. This is gonna be funny. I'm guessing these are washcloths. We could have got them more of uh, manly colors. Look like little loafers, but. <laughs> All right, in this basket, this is to tell you the temperature of the bath water, which I don't know why we got this. Another towel for him, probably a hood right on top of his head. Some more lotion and shampoo. And then these look like they, some little toys to play with in the water. All right, we got this. Ready angle baby electric nail. This was a gift from somebody on YouTube, right? One of y'all subscribers hooked us up with this. The baby toothbrush. I might need to use these on. I don't think this is really for bath time. I think this is, wait, is this for bath time? This can get wet. It looks like a blanket. Flush spa bath for your skin. Baby looks really happy on there. That's all the stuff we got for his baby bath time. Well, he's got some like extra stuff like this. What is that? Baby bouncer. We also got a baby swing. Baby swing. We got a few toys. What is this? This is for the car, so it is a mirror that is gonna go back on the back seat. This is a swaddle. Baby carrier. Carrier. So we do baby carriers. We have this one, which was suggested by uh, an OT. Essentially, it's good for their hips, so it helps them um, be placed in a good area. And then we have also the Ergo Baby. So this is going to, we just need to get the insert, the uh, infant insert to this. And then this is just our car seat. So we got the Pippa RX um, car seat. We got it when it was not sold out. So I know it is sold out everywhere. Um, it's going to go well with our Vista Upper Baby stroller. However, we do have to have that piece for this to go into our Apple Baby stroller. So with our baby travel items, baby gear, we did get the Apple Baby travel bag. And we got this because um, we do kind of travel a decent amount. His family's in Kentucky, my family's in Montana, so our family's all over. It ensures the stroller if it's um, packed into the plane and something happens to it. So it was pretty pricey, but the overall benefit of it is pretty high. So this first thing right here is our rocking chair. And then this is our dresser slash changing table for the baby. So we have no newborn diapers yet, but we have size one diapers from Honest. We have size two diapers from Huggies and then wipes from Honest. Actually, I think these are newborn. A few newborn. And then this is a thermometer, although I know you're supposed to take the rectal thermometer for the baby. And then um, this is diaper rash cream from Honest. So we'll probably get some aquifer also. So that is absolutely everything that we've gotten. Like we are good to go and the big changes. Have we mentioned this yet? Why we're... No, 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 we haven't. Okay, so the reason why we're keeping everything packaged up and ready to go is because we are actually moving a week before. Yeah, so we're moving on July 10th and my due date is July 18th. Literally like a week before the baby is supposed to be due, we are moving. We're just trying to keep everything packed up. There's no need to build the dresser or building the, the play stuff for the baby because we're gonna be in a completely different spot than this spot. And I don't know, we'll make a whole video about that and kind of document more of that. But until then, this was our baby haul and just everything. Uh, and people are gonna say that we're crazy, that we're moving at this time, but how everything lined up, it was just the best time for us to move. Um, we're pretty at peace with it. Luckily, Avery is, I mean, I'm clearly not gonna be moving anything, um, but I'll be organizing things at the house and like that's something that we get to really set up together and it's the first place that we're gonna bring home our baby. So, unless I go early, um, but we have everything, absolutely almost everything we need. We just need a few items here and there, um, but we're super excited to be moving. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. If there's anything that you, we, we didn't have in our registry or that we didn't get, that you was like that must have item, let us know in the comments. But don't feel like you need to get the rest of the stuff on the registry or anything like that. We put that into the, 
We put our registry in the description. So if you do want to help, but we don't want people to feel obligated or anything like that, but we know we have some friends and family that have asked where the registry is. And so thank you to everybody who got stuff off our registry and have just helped us and supported us and everything. And we will catch you in the next video. Stay tuned.